the inclusion and use of scale bars in GCAD Plus drawings can get a little confusing. In this particular instance, the drafter has included the scale bar inside a floating, a second floating viewport. And you'll notice that it's not at a fixed scale, its view scale is 75. If I scroll up a little and try and select the floating viewport that holds the whole design, you can see it's had a view scale of 50 and a fixed scale, that is the viewport. So we can escape from there. Let's move up. If I tried, if I printed this drawing as it stands now and, and a construction person tried to scale off from the drawing using this scale, they would get an incorrect result. They would get an incorrect result. The drawing is beautifully done in the sense that it is all dimensions, so most construction people would in fact not scale from the drawing, they'd use the dimensions. The preference I would have is to include, as I've done underneath that new floating viewport, I've put the scale bar in a particular place in layout space so it shows full size. So now when we print the drawing, this latter scale is accurate. So if we come back here into the model, I've made a copy. So what I can do now is this is the scale that was being observed in that floating viewport. So if I erase it and we go back to the drawing, can you see that what was contained in there now disappears? So I will remove that floating viewport. Now we can print the drawing happily and the scale bar is correct and can be used. You might argue that that scale bar perhaps overpowers the drawing just a little. You might want to edit that scale bar and cut it back to just a two meter. This is not a terribly long area. It's only nine meters in length by about two meters at its widest. So a scale of five meters is perhaps a little overkill. So we could come back in here. We could say we're going to select that scale bar. We're going to edit the block. I'll take grid and the snap off for the moment. And we may well be able to just select those areas there erase them, close our block editor. Let's go back to layout two and there's our scale bar. So I think that perhaps works just a little bit better than the big long scale bar. So I hope you can see that you do need to be aware that when you're drafting in model space, everything is full size. By the way, I would remove this title block area as well. Let's erase it and I'd include the title block into layout space. So there's a strategy, if you like, of how to draw with GK Plus to make sure that uh, scales and your scale bar are appropriately displayed.